There are many training officers that allow formal Zen practice to function smoothly. For the newcomer, the two that are most important to become familiar with are the Jigijitsu and the Shoji. The Jigijitsu is the leader in the Zendo, or meditation hall, and sits in the first seat. They are responsible to act as an example of disciplined Zen practice, to keep time, and to mark and lead the practitioners through the transitions between sitting, bowing, and walking practice through the use of the bell, and the clappers. Each of the training offices like Jikijitsu and Shoji are roles that are used in Zen practice to develop various aspects of human manifestation. The Jikijitsu is the embodiment of discipline and clarity. Part of the role of the Jikijitsu is to ensure that all practitioners are maintaining the form and discipline of Zen practice, and to make verbal corrections when necessary. Be still. If you are corrected by the Jikijitsu, please do not take it as a personal affront, nor perceive it as the Jikijitsu having something against you personally. These corrections are simply an invitation for us to become aware of our discordant activity and to return to harmonious practice. At the other end of the spectrum, and in the last seat in the zendo, is the shoji. The shoji is responsible to support the physical, mental, and emotional well-being of the practitioners in the zendo. They are responsible for ensuring appropriate lighting, temperature, and ventilation within the zendo, and must consider the needs of all students. If you feel that the zendo is too hot or too cold, you may mention this to the shoji and allow them to make a decision. Please do not adjust lights, open windows, or otherwise modify the zendo environment to suit your personal preferences. If you're feeling ill, are experiencing significant physical discomfort or pain, if you are unsure about a particular aspect of the form, or if you are struggling with emotional or psychological stressors that are arising through practice, the shoji is the first person to speak to. They will either be able to help you directly or will connect you with whatever resources are required to remedy the situation. As a Zendo student, the shoji is always your first point of contact.